It's hot outside, Jason. Today's video is a video that a lot of you guys have been waiting for because as you all know, we recently bought the Porsche 944 and then we just kind of bricked it. I mean, off camera, we pulled it into the driveway, but the engine is still not in the car, of course, because I actually, I got some parts, which I will show you kind of towards the end of the video because if you're not really interested in the engine building stuff, then I don't want to bore you with it. But the engine work is coming soon. I actually have enough stuff to finally start pulling that apart, but I figured since we have the car sitting in the driveway as it is right now, we might as well put some work into it and make it look pretty. It actually looks a little better on camera than it does in real life. Life, but um, it's pretty disgusting. If you take a closer look, there's just all kinds of grime all over it and we want to see what this paint actually looks like because when I bought the car it was kind of just sitting under a tree for who knows how long. So we went to the store and we picked up a little power washer thing. We were looking for like a foam cannon and a power washer but this one the soap is like inside the power washer so uh, we're gonna test this out too. It's from Ryobi. Not sponsored or anything because I'm not really popular enough for that so I just went ahead and bought that. It was like 150 bucks. We'll see if it's worth. Well, just one Ooh, nice little. little nice. One nice package. Hopefully this hose will reach all the way over here. I think it will. <laughs> what the? Oh, it goes down. Yeah. It's not an airline. Airlines for like nail guns and stuff, you pull them up, I think. Interesting. Yeah. Oh, I'm breaking a sweat. We haven't even started yet. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> kinda. Kinda works. That wiper though. Oh heck yeah dude. This that is, is uh, sexy. This is for like weight reduction on the wiper. You just <laughs> Oh I probably shouldn't have done that. Damn it. It's okay. Think fast. <laughs> it's actually a uh, that that's it's a windmill. My boy Elon has been messaging me recently, asking me about the uh, the battery regeneration technology of my windmill. Um, I'm charging him a lot because I got a fat patent on that, so we'll see if he actually ends up buying from me. But. All right, so I'm pretty much wrapped up with the outside of the car. Um, there are still some imperfections and it still needs a buff and everything, but that's as far as I'm gonna take it for today. So for the next part of the video, we're gonna move into the engine bay. I'm gonna start cleaning some stuff out of there. There's a ton of pine needles like up under the, uh, the, the little, like, what would you call that? The cowl, that's the word I'm looking for. Um, but I'm gonna start cleaning all this out, probably pull that, the plastic part of the cowl out and just start going to town on this engine bay. Unfortunately, my battery on the camera is gonna die, so I'm gonna switch to the iPhone, but we're just time-lapsing, so I'm sure it'll look fine. All right guys, so we pretty much reached a stopping point with the cleaning. The battery tray still has a bunch of goop in it, but I can't get it to drain water properly right now. So I was able to like reach my hand in and unclog the little drain for just a second to get the water out of it, but it's gonna need some more cleaning. Here, I'll show it to you. So as you can see, this thing is just really gross and I tried to hit it with the power washer and it just wasn't budging. So I'm thinking what we're gonna do in an upcoming video is we're actually gonna pull this fender off and pull the front bumper off and everything. And then we'll uh, be able to inspect the frame a little bit more 
and inspect the overall chassis underneath here. And then when I do that, I'll be able to get access to the drain and just clean it all out so that way water won't collect in there because this is actually where the battery goes. And from the factory, the car didn't have any sort of cowl to cover the battery. So I definitely don't want water collecting in there because uh, we also live in Oregon and this car is gonna have to be driven in the rain sometimes. So that's a little bit unfortunate, but I mean, more content. Moving on, we were kind of digging through the back because this car came with a bunch of parts. If you guys watched the video, you, you would have seen all that, but I actually found this. So the hood doesn't have a hood prop with the car. It actually has the little hydraulic hood props. And so this one is a new one. And I believe it's actually for the right side because I saw an old one back there too. And I believe that that one was the one that was taken off the car. So I'm going to go ahead and see if I can put this on. I hope that there's not like a broken hook or something like that, but we're going to find out here in a sec. All right. So I'm not sure if they can even see this. There's a little clip that goes right here. You just kind of pull this little pin out of it and then the pin goes through the hood prop like that. It goes back through. Oh, stop. I'm stupid. Sorry. You have to put this through the hood first and then the, the pin goes through. Well, see, there should be a little ball thing there. Yeah. Well, this hood prop might not be able to go on here today, unfortunately. Back to the room. I don't know. I'm going to have to do some digging, but I want this hood to actually stay up, so this kind of sucks. <laughs> okay, well, that was kind of sad, but moving on to the other treasures we've got in here. Some of you may remember from the first video about this car, the, uh, the tail light on the back here is busted. There's a crack in it, but it actually came with a new one, so I'm thinking I might be able to just throw this on right now. The battery's not hooked up to the car or anything yet, but at least it can look good sitting bricked in my driveway. So we're gonna try to do that real quick. So right inside the trunk lid here, there's just some bolts that hold the headlight in. Jeez, these birds are just going off. But anyway, you just kinda reach down in here and wiggle them out. Oh, that's the nine millimeter side of the wrench. They're eight millimeter bolts. Well, that's definitely not supposed to come off like that. So I guess I'm just gonna install this without any lights cause uh, this thing is a piece of junk. All right, so there's the old one, there's the new. It's a little dusty, but it's okay. Looking a lot better back there. Obviously there's no bulbs in it yet, but I mean, it's not really that important, just trying to get through all the junk. So that's about as far as I'm gonna go tonight. I'm gonna pick this video back up first thing in the morning, but I got some homework I gotta do. So we're gonna wrap this up for tonight and then I'll pick this video up tomorrow. All right guys, it's the next day. We're picking up right where we left off yesterday. So I cleaned the engine bay and everything. So now we're gonna just kind of clean out the inside. I think I'm gonna move all the components into the garage and try to find a spot for them, even though the garage looks like that. Don't worry about it, we'll, we'll figure it out. But we're gonna go ahead and empty out the inside of the 944 and then start vacuuming and finding all sorts of goodies. Maybe we'll find some drugs or a cute girlfriend or something. I don't know. We'll see. This is actually kind of cool. It's like a historical thing. A lot of the Porsche snobs, as people like to say, like these, but um, this car has the original tool set, which is super cool. It comes in like this little leather pouch. I don't know if it has all the tools in here, but this is one of those things where, like when people buy collector Porsches, they're like, does it have the original tools with the matching numbers and everything? So I was actually thinking about this. I watched a video about it the other day. And so it's actually kind of cool that I actually have one of these cool Porsche tool sets. Look at this. What the heck? Whoa. Whoa! Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> what the heck is that? I don't even know. Maybe I'll make another video about this. A satire video about being a Porsche snob with my tools. <laughs> I'm gonna try to sit in the seat because I kind of think this would only be big enough for like a toddler. <laughs> Ugh. But maybe people were smaller in the 80s. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, you know. Try to pull the seat forward. Yeah. We're chilling. <laughs> hey, but if we took the sunroof off though, then I could put my head out of it. 
I'm thinking that this car is probably gonna get a rear seat delete because uh, I just can't see myself putting anybody back here and I want this car to be a two-seater anyway. So unfortunately the cool little 80s seats back here are gonna go because I don't know who could fit back here. I mean, I am 6'2", so like a short person would probably be okay, but yeah, no, not ideal. All right, so we've gotten most of the stuff cleared out of the car. Lastly, there's just a couple things over here in the passenger seat. So we got whatever this thing is. It's like a ear looking thing. I don't know. I think it goes in the engine bay somewhere, a battery and then some wrenches. And then after that, we can vacuum this baby out. One thing I find kind of interesting about this car is that this little wooden piece goes down in the footwell and it covers up the ECU. So the ECU tucks in there and then you use this board to cover it up. I just think that's really interesting that the car actually came with a piece of wood in it because most modern cars would never have a piece of wood panel covering something. <laughs> they would just use plastic. I'm using the neighbors as my test subjects because I want to see how well they can fit in the back seat. There's plenty of room here. Yeah, plenty. Oh my god. Where do you put your feet? You just gotta... You just, oh. you just gotta... Just figure it out. And then it, and then the driver can have... Oh my butt! The driver can have armrests. In my butt. Do you guys fit? No, not really. I don't even fit. I fit just fine. <laughs> yeah, see? Where does my head go? Right there. This seat is all, like all the way back. So. Oh. I don't know how to move it forward. Oh, look at that. All right, push it forward. Uh, nope. Wait, maybe it's the one on the, the bottom. So, Kaden, oh, I, yeah. I fit just fine right now, but when you get the engine in here, no <laughs> way I'm fitting. Yeah, I'm doing the back seat engine, so oh. you might. <laughs> you can do that. <laughs> Bye. Wow. <laughs> how do I? Uh, up. Uh, yep, yeah, yeah, you push that lever like down or something. You pull the lever. Are you, are you climbing out the back? Practicality. I'm this stuck. This is the emergency I'm exit. Stuck yeah. in here. <laughs> pull the lever up before you yeah, push it. Pull it up and then push the seat. Oh. There you go. Thank goodness. I thought it was going to die in there. So, what do you guys think? Uh, it's practical. I would not go on a trip in that. This is uh, what you call a family car. Yeah, exactly. Also, Put the children you, did, in the trunk. When we went in there, you had a purse. <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> this is my scheme to steal your wallet. <laughs> no! Get in my car, you'll lose everything you own. <laughs> Bye guys, thanks See for you. participating. Bye. Okay, so while I was cleaning out the car, I found the uh, the mirror for the driver's side side mirror. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some double-sided tape on here and stick it on there. It's kind of a temporary solution because I'm probably gonna replace these at some point because it's kind of old and crusty. But I mean, I figured I might as well just stick it on. I hate double-sided tape. We use it so much and it's horrible. I mean, it's like abundantly useful and yet straight garbo at the same time. Do any of you guys have that problem with double-sided tape where the red just doesn't come off of the back of it? Like why? Why is it always such a pain? I'm just gonna stick her down in there. Oh yeah. Hopefully it'll stay. Well this car isn't going anywhere, so. Hey, it will. You just gotta believe. <laughs> yeah. Alright. <laughs> So I, I vacuumed out kind of decently, but I've decided that I'm going to go ahead and pull this out. If for no other reason than to just show you guys all this cool 80s stuff back here, because it's kind of interesting to me. At least, I don't know, I like history. That's what I'm studying in college. I'm a history major. <laughs> That's a lie. Came with the spare and the jack and all the tools. Like this, It's cool. I, I think it's super cool. <laughs> Hope that's not important. Um... <laughs>
Okay, now that I've got that out, I'm gonna vacuum out all this stuff. Cause look, like this car, and pretty much any car from the 80s, I would recommend doing this. Like this, I had an old Camaro way back in the day before I started making YouTube videos. And literally just every little piece of plastic or rubber or electrical tape, just over, after 30 years or more, they just start to crumble. So there's all these like gross rubber things. I don't know if they come up on camera, but if you guys were here in person, you'd be like, ew. So I'm gonna go ahead and vacuum all this with all that taken out and then I'll put that back in and it'll look really good because vacuuming it with that in the car just kind of like you get all the surface stuff but there's so much crap underneath the car that just it's got to go it's all got to go so we're gonna we're gonna keep going Something else that I think is super cool about this car is that the uh, the trunk lining actually has like snaps. So it's not like a screw or a clip or anything that holds it on. They literally just snap in place like that. It's super cool. I'm not sure if all of them work because it looks like some of them are getting a little uh, deteriorated, but uh, we're gonna try. <laughs> hey, look at that. That's awesome. Oh, that one's broken. Okay, so some of them don't work, but it's still kind of cool that these still, some of them work. It's kind of just cool that a car has that at all. It like snaps on a on a pair of jeans or something. All right guys, so that's pretty much all the content I've got as far as like cleaning up the Porsche for now. Of course it's not perfect, but I mean, the car is not perfect. So it's good enough for now. At least it's not disgusting and just rotting and I actually feel like it cleaned up pretty nicely. So for the rest of the video, I'm just gonna talk briefly about the engine and what's going on with this. So I have a big pile of parts over here. I've been collecting parts as they've been coming in. Got a lot of stuff that's going on the engine. So in an upcoming video, we will start pulling this apart. I know I've been saying that for a while, but I think the next video that I make about the Porsche will be about tearing this down. And I got a lot of learning to do, but I'm pretty sure I'm ready to do it. I'm still trying to source a clutch. I went online, I got like a part number for an upgraded clutch because the OEM Porsche clutches for the 944 had a rubber center. So you have to get kind of like a, not really aftermarket, but it's an upgrade. It's still like OEM-ish, but it's not exactly OEM because you can't even get a rubber center clutch really anymore. But unfortunately, the manufacturer that makes those clutches is like back ordered on their clutches and they don't have a date as to when the clutch will be available again, which is frustrating because I need one. So I'm gonna keep digging, see if I can find another supplier for the clutch, but the clutch is pretty much the main thing that will keep the engine from going back into the car, which is annoying, but I'm gonna do my best to find one. If you guys are into 944s and you know where I could find an upgraded clutch for the car, just definitely leave a comment down below because getting the engine and put all back together isn't gonna take too long but of course I can't drive the car unless it has a clutch in it and that's like the whole reason the previous owner took the engine out of the car in the first place so just let me know if you guys know of a good clutch and if not then don't worry about it I'm gonna keep looking but I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I'll see you in the next one peace out and dream big